So, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the very first class of 2022. Let's do strength number 22. So, today I've got some awful and great remixes. You might decide which ones are awful and which ones are great. Um, more great news, I'm working on my home studio right now, so I'm rebuilding one room just to make sure that I can actually record classes. Eventually, I'm gonna do some live classes as well, but I will keep you up to date for that. I'm first gonna try it out with uh, some members and then eventually try to get everybody involved to actually be doing some live classes soon as well. Not only that, um, after this release, so Let's Move Strength 22, I'm recording Let's Move Strength 23 to show you exactly how I set everything up, but mostly how I edit everything, and that's mostly because of the sound that I want to show you, because there's a lot going on there. Plus, Let's Move Fight, number five on Let's Move Fitness, I'll link the channel below, it's going to be online this week as well. Next week, finally, a new Let's Move Spinning, Let's Move Spinning number 16, I will link that channel down below as well with Spin with Lars. And for this, today you're just going to have a hoot, it's going to be great, have a great time. Let's do this. Let's do this. I hope you are as ready, not only for this new year, but also for this new release. So grab your bobber right aside your thighs, drag your shoulders down and back, open up your chest, and let's start with right away a single row. Knees and squeeze. Listen carefully. The uh, warming up and even the squats in the chest, I made a little bit slower, so you actually can make your movements a little bit bigger. I'm not gonna do this every time, but this time, yes. Three rows, triple rows is what we call it. So three times from up, the knees to the squeeze into your belly button. Yes, let's do it one more time. Three times towards your knees and the squeeze. Yes. All, right. All the way up, now let's go down for two deadlifts. Here we go. So down and down and slowly come on up. Yes. Mostly just happy, happy checks with some weird remixes, I have to say. But you're gonna love it. Well, not everything. Three and one. So let's go. Three, two, one. Slowly back. So like, actually, come up quite quick. Two more of these. Let's do this. Hey, listen carefully. We're gonna have an upright row. We're gonna go up quick and down slow. Let's do this. Upright row, up quick and slowly down. Let's do it again. Up quick, down slow. Again. Love this check. Oh yeah, let's do this. Hey, listen carefully. Triple stop. So we're doing three times in a row. One, two, three, and all the way down. Fireworks. Oh yeah. Do it one more time and after this last one, onto your chest and single towards the ceiling. So it's up and down. All the way up, all the way down. Let's do this. Ooh, yes. Perfect. Ooh. All right, so two more. And after the last one, in the meaty part of your neck, feet nice and wide apart, let's do a squat. Two and two, all the way down. Down and down. And really slow up again. So keep it nice and slow. And you keep strengthening those legs by coming in deeper. 90 degrees in both legs would be perfect. Okay, just a little slower. Three and one. So coming down for it. Three, two, one. Rise up. Let's do it again. Two more. Oh. Last one, last the last one. Let's speed it up just a little. Ready, set, singles, go. Woo. Down and up and all the way. You can do it just lower and stronger if you can and dare. Okay, listen carefully. Second quarter legs, lunges. I was a little bit late with this one, I'm sorry. So all the way down and up, 90 degrees with both legs. Drop the back knee towards the floor. That's exactly what you want to do. Yes, so two more. Now one more. And change sides, let's do it again. Woo. If you don't like this trick, just do it a couple of times and you will love it. I'm pretty sure. Hey, two more. And after this last one, come all over your body, back to your set position. And take it in a backhand position. Drag your shoulders down and back. Super slow towards your knees. Yes. All the way up. Okay, we're gonna do it again, but then a slow row. So down to the knees in two. Drag it in the navel. Down towards the knees. And slowly rise up. 
Let's do it again. So all the way down to the knees. Drag it in. All the way down to the knees. Rise up. Twice as fast. Go. Yes. So we're already activating your biceps a little bit, but not enough yet. So let's proceed. The last 40 seconds with only the biceps. Open up your chest. Biceps curl. Up quick, down slow. Up quick, down slow. Yes, I've got a great biceps track for you today. At least I love it. If you don't love it, we just have different tastes. But that's okay. Yes. Woo! Hey! Triples down the middle. One, two, three, and all the way down. So it's one, two, three, and all the way down. Only two more of these. Then you're already done for the warming up. The warming up should be relatively easy. Yes. Hey, is it two and two to the end? Up for two, and all the way down for two. So always keep some distance between your chest and the bubble. I will tell you this a lot of times, but it's really important to get the biceps stronger than it already is. All right, all the way down, and one big shoulder roll. So roll those shoulders, and let everything go, including the barbell. So shake it off, whatever you want to shake off, and then put more weight on the bottle. At least twice the weight that you've got right now, maybe even triple the weight that you've got right now. It depends how long it's been since you did it the last time. I really get messages a lot from people who do it like three times a week. Fucking awesome. So good. Ah. Oh. So, ooh. Um, again, this track is a little bit slower than I would normally do it, but this gives you the chance to actually drop down deeper if you want to, if you can. You should, actually. All right, so take it into your neck. Uh, feet nice and wide apart. Open up your chest. And let's go down for two. So down, down, and slowly rise. Yes. Drop it down towards the uh, height of your own knees. Again, it's about 90 degrees in your knees. Again, I keep on telling you, but it's important. Okay, let's first start with shallow singles. So shallow, I mean top shallow. Not down shallow, up shallow. So eeny teeny mini baby squats. That's what we used to call them. Four more. Three. Two. All right, after this last one, let's go down for three. So all the way down for three. So one, two, three, rise up. Again, drop them down, but keep on pushing your chest up. So I know that this feels deeper, but this is totally not the, the point. So you want to drop the glutes down and back. And about the same height of your knees, that's where you want to go to. Two more. So open up your chest and keep on looking cool, but you already did that, I'm pretty sure. Ready? Set, singles, go! Sweet dreams are made of this. You know, who am I? Okay, every round we're gonna have eight singles and then four, two times down. So, two bottom halves. One, two, and rise up. Again. One, two, and rise up. And again. Yes. And again, listen carefully. Six bottom halves. So it's six, five, four, three. Keep on dropping two more. And now all the way up and then super slow down. Super slow. You are going to get one break, but not yet. All the way up. Okay, let's do it. Three and one. Three, two, one. Rise up. Yes. The lower you jump, the better you will look. Rah. Some people are already in the summer. Some people still have to wait about five months before the summer starts. But it will be worth the wait to show off your legs. If you jump down, deep enough, that is. Ready, set, let's do it again. Singles go. Sweet dreams are made of this. The deeper, the better. But you knew this already. In the set. Ooh, let's go again for two bottom halves. So down and halfway up, and down and all the way up. Let's do it again. Ooh, yes. And again. One more time. Okay, let's carefully. Super slow. Down for four. Four. Three. Two. One is only right. Oh, I forgot the six bottom halves. That's okay. We're gonna do. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, all the way up and shake it off. My fault. It's still a relatively new release for me. Hey, right. feet eyes are wide apart. Three and one. 
Three, two, one, slowly rise. Ah, I shouldn't be drinking before recording these classes, but I still do. I'm sorry. That's why I make some mistakes. Okay, let's do this. Two and two. Some of them want ah. to lose you. So jump it down, some open up your chest, and look cooler than before. Some yes. Want to abuse you. Ready, set, singles, go! Sweet dreams are made of this. The deeper the better. All the way. Also, after this round, let's do two bottom halves. Now, here, here we go. Two bottom halves. And again. Ow. One more time. After the last one, two and two. You're nearly there. Two and two. Down, down. I sometimes keep on forgetting that you can see that you're almost there. That one? Yeah, it is that one. You can see that you're almost there. But not too close yet. We're gonna have one more round of singles. Go! Sweet dreams are Yes! Drop those clues and keep on going! If your legs are shaking, you're exactly where you should be right now. Yep, two bottom halves. Here we go. And again, two bottom halves. Just to make sure that the last 15 seconds are nice to feel too, let's do eight bottom halves. Eight, seven, drop it down low. The lower you go, the better. You can lie down after this one anyway. Two more, the very last one. And then slowly rise and relax. Oh, get rid of the barbell for now. Take some weight off, about one third of the weight off. And then you can lie down. Finally, for the chest. Bad news though, we are gonna have some push-ups in the end. So after you've done, you're done with the barbell, let's do some push-up. At least it's a really upbeat and happy track, and I'm pretty sure you know this track as well. I'm pretty sure you know pretty much all of the tracks today. So, lay yourself down on your back, with your hands nice and wide on the barbell. Yep, so, ready, set, let's go down in two. So, down, down, and slowly rise. Yes, you got to keep on moving, and that's exactly what we're doing right now. So coming down, down, and slowly rise. Oh yes, keep on, keep on going. Four more of these. Keep it fluent, keep it strong, and come nice and deep. Yep, we've got two more of these. Ah, and we're gonna hit it straight away. Ready, set, singles, go! Woo! You know what? Oh no, you got to keep on moving, and I'm pretty sure you're doing this already. Whoop. Okay, so listen carefully. Three bottom halves. Let's do this. So it's one, two, down and hold, and then all the way up. So it's one, two, down and hold. So it's triple down, but you're gonna hold the last one at the bottom. Yep, last one. And after this last one, slowly rise, two and two. So down, down, and slowly rise. Keep on raising those abs, and keep on going till the end. Keep going. Okay, from now on, every round starts with 16 singles. Good luck, go! 16. Woo. More bad news. The only break you're gonna get is to put down the barbell and to go for the push-ups. That's gonna be later, way later. Keep it going, eight more. But keep it nice and fluid. This track is relatively slow, so keep it nice and fluid. Four more. Three. Two. Okay, after this last one, super slow down to the chest. So it's four, three, two, one, and super slow, rise up again. Let's do it again, super slow. And if it hurts already, I've got bad news. You're not nearly there yet, but you can see by the, the clock. Three and one, three, two, one, and up again. And maybe if it hurts, it could be that you take more weight, but it could be as well that you just didn't do it for too long a time. Ready, set, singles, go! 
Place to be, you are in a place to be. You if you like parties, keep on going, keep on going. Oh. More pain comes from more stress. Yeah. Okay, three and one, keep on going. Three, two, one, rise up, keep on going. And again, and again. To keep on moving. Woo! Uh oh! Only eight to go. Keep it going. Woo! Uh oh! Only four to go. Three. Hey, we're gonna end the barbell with still the triples down. Ready, set? Three bottom halves. One, two, three down hold, and up. Again. One, two, down hold, and up. Two more. Pop up the volume. Sure. One more time. Oh, and get rid of the barbell. Get rid of the barbell. You have all the time in the world to get down to your knees or your toes. Do some push-ups. You can do it on your step or on the floor. Really doesn't matter too much. Don't you know the time has come for push-ups. Ready, set? Three and one. Slowly down. Three, two, one. You've got all the options in the world on your knees, on your toes, or whatever option you prefer. If this really doesn't work for you, you can always proceed with the barbell, do some flies as well. Ready, set, singles, go! No! More singles, go! Oh yeah! All the way till the end, until you can't do it no more! Woo. Hey, listen carefully, we are gonna have a triple down again! So it's one, two, down halt, and all the way up! Let's do it again! Two more! The last one! Oh yes! And relax. Oh. Oh. I'm regretting now already. I'm already going to tell you that we're going to have more triceps push-ups at the triceps track. I'm so sorry. I really regret this right now. Hey, so for now, we're going to go on with the back. The upper back and the lower back, obviously, we use them all together. Take more weights on the barbell. So, some, on some more weights. We're going to have clean and presses. We're going to have four power presses without any rows. And the cleaning presses are every time with a single row. Just grab it with your palms toward me, which means the underhand grip position. And let's just start with this fabulous remix of an already fabulous track. Reset, triple row. One, two, three, rise up, and again, triple row. One, two, three. Okay, let's do it seven times in a row. Haha, <laughs> in a row. Get it? It's not fun, it's not fun. Three more. Two. Last one. Rise up. And get rid of the barbell. Shake it up. Take your shoulders back. And grab it in a normal set position. Ready, set. First, just a single row. One, two, one, two. All right, I hope you're ready, physically and mentally, because we're gonna start right away with single clean and press, with single row, now. <laughs> Down for the knees and squeeze. Perfect. Three more of these. Bend, push, pull in, drop down. Yes. And again. Bend it. Push it, take it in, and drop it down. Let's do this one more time. Let's do this. Bend, push, in, down. Hey, relax. Super slow down. Four, three, two, 
One, super slow rise. Just a little quicker, three and one. Three, two, one, and up. Ah. Enjoy these deadlifts because we have not all too many of those. I'm gonna try to get less and less of these deadlifts in my releases, just to make it a little bit more fun. But first, two and two. Yes. We're not going to go where you think we're going, so listen carefully. Let's do this one more time. And after this one, hold at the top, hands nice and wide. Triple row. One. Because your hands are wide, you want to push your elbows out to the side. Yes? So push them out to the side and keep your back as long as you can. Listen carefully. We're going to have seven rows now. Seven. Seven. Six. Keep on going. Push your elbows out and keep your back nice and long. Two. Last one. All the way up. Okay. Hands closer together. Oh, single row now. I thought I was too late, but I was exactly on time. Well, we're telling you, now we're doing it. Ah. And again. All right. Let's do this two more times. And after these two, we're going to proceed with again the cleaner presses with single rows. Ready, set, here we go. All the way down to the knees and squeeze. Perfect. Let's do this three more times. You can do this. So bend your legs, push it out, pull it in, and drag it down. Yes. If you bend the knees, push your glutes back. You want to use the back of the body, not that much to stretch of your body. Ah. Listen carefully. We're going to go one step further. We're going to have a power press. Triple sooner suit. Number one is going to be number two. There's going to be number two, three. Down to the hip and again. Triples. One. Two. Okay, now you really did deserve it. Get rid of the barbell. Whew. Good. One more round to go, exactly the same as we did before, so you know exactly what's coming already. Yeah? So when everything is released, ah, grab your barbell. Three and one. Three, two, one, rise up. Last round already, which means only the wide rows and still the cleaning presses and power press. That's it. Two and two. Yes, keep on going. Down, down and slowly rise. Hey, hold that at the top. Grab it nice and wide. We're gonna proceed with a wide row. Triple rows now, triple down. Number one, two, three. And push your elbows to the front. You wanna watch the floor in front of you about like oh, six or eight feet in front of you. Just up, seven rows, here we go. Push your elbows to the front. So no, just hold them too close to you. Push them out. Yes, your back nice and long. The lower the chest, the better. Slowly rise, hands close together. Open up your chest, look cool. Ready, single row. Yes. And again. Let's do it again. This is your last round, so give everything you've got, and maybe even a little bit more. So two more. Last one. Ready, set, clean, and press with single row. Rock. Woo! I'll make sure uh, to put the volume of this check a little bit up compared to the rest of the checks, just so you can feed it. Woo! Oh, yes. One more time. And you know exactly where we are going. Listen carefully. We're gonna have a power press. Triples. One, two, three, all the way down. And let's do it one more time. One, two, three, all the way down. And relax. That's it. Let's go on with the smaller muscles. The back of the arms. The only thing we're gonna do is the barbell for quite a long time, then some triceps push ups in the end. I sometimes ask my class where I'm teaching this class too, because we're finally open again. 
are, uh, we just opened up three days ago, so I've been doing three of these classes in the last two days. Well, four, if you include this one. But they asked me not to do dips, so I gave them another opportunity to do triceps push-ups. Opportunity, another option, which is the triceps push-ups. If you can't do triceps push-ups or you'd rather do something else in the end, that's fine too. So grab your bottle nice and close together, so in your old, own shoulder width. Lay yourself down, hands nice and close. Let's first go down, two and two towards the front of the head. Two, and slowly rise. Keep those elbows close together. Keep your wrists nice and strong, nice and long. So you wanna keep them in the same angle as your forearms are. All right, let's do it a little bit slower. You're gonna love this track. Three and one. Three, two, West Virginia. Blue Ridge Mountains. Oh yes. Life is old there. Older than the trees, younger than the mountains. Two and two. Take me home to the place you belong. Where is that? It's Let's Move Fitness. That's where you are. Keep it going. Ready, set, singles towards the tummy. Here we go. Down and rise. So squeeze your elbows into your body and keep on going. Down and rise. Oh, yes. Nice and slow as well, which means that we can do the triples down just nice and fluid. Triples down. So it's one, two, down hold, and all the way up. So it's one, two, down hold, and all the way up. One, two, down hold, and all the way up. Let's do it again. All right, listen carefully. All the way up, and then super slow towards the front of the head. Four, three, two, one, and slowly rise up again if you think you can do it. I had to fear in there, I sure to bring home yesterday. Yesterday. Three and one. So it's three, two, one. Rise up. Keep your elbows close together. Rest is strong now. One more time. Ready? Set round number two out of three. Single source of tummy. Go. Ah, squeeze your elbows. Close to your body. And keep on going. Yeehaw. Wow. Hey, ready, set, triples down. Here we go. One, two, three, and all the way up. One, two, three, and all the way up. Let's do it two more times. One more time. Hey, after this last one, one more time. All the way to the front of the head, super slow. Four, three, West Virginia. Through its mountains. Let's do it again. Life is old there, older than the trees, younger than mountains. Three and one. So, three, two, one, rise up to the place you belong. In your living room or the fitness to work out now. One more time. Ready, set, single towards the tummy, go now. Woo! <laughs> if it doesn't feel good, you're exactly on schedule again. It's supposed to hurt. All right, lose it carefully. We're going to have a triple down. Now, so it's one, down, down hold, and all the way up again. Let's do it again. One, two, down hold, and all the way up again. Let's do it two more times. Last one. All right, after this last one, you can finally get rid of the barbell. And then, if you want to, if you can, some triceps push it. If, again, if this doesn't fit you, do something else. That's fine too. Right. Hands on close together, elbows into your body, your body towards the front, three and one. So it's three, two, one, rise up. Keep your elbows in your body and make sure that your hands go towards the uh, bottom part of your ribs or your belly. So not here. Uh -huh. Ready, set, singles, go! Oh yes, so a jump it and come up. Woo. Squeeze your elbows into your body and make sure that you feel that triceps working. Triples down, go! One, two, three, and all the way up. Let's do it again. And again. And again, okay, listen carefully. We're only gonna have a two and two till the end. So it's down, down, and slowly rise. And again, and again. 
two more times, so you can do this. And it's gonna be the very last one. And relax. Oh. Oh, yes, from the back of the arms, we're gonna go to the front of the arms. Um, I'm not sure, yes, if I'm gonna give you a break in the end because it is relatively long, but it's such a good check that you might not even want to have a break. I'll see how I feel because I've got mixed reactions for giving the break in the biceps in my classes, in my live classes. So, what you wanna do, same weight or just a little bit less because the biceps is a less conditional muscle, you know this, and then grab it just a little bit wider than you would think that you actually have to uh, grab it, then you'll be fine. Okay, let's first start super slow rise, super slow. Super slow down. Listen carefully. Come up in two. Up, up and slowly down. All right, we're gonna have a combination. I think we did this in the last release as well. The double down and one single. So that's why it's nice and slow. And also, because it's nice and slow, you can make your entire movement nice and big. Yes. Remember me? Yeah, it's been a long while, huh? It's been like last year. Last time that you've really seen me in a new class, that is. Hey, right, let's get free. Two bottom halves and one single, go. One, two down, down, and all the way up and down again. So it. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna make those hip sways really a necessary part of my classes. Hey, right, two and two. Up, up and slowly down. Woo, down. So keep your elbows in one spot, keep your shoulders down, and open up your chest. Make sure that nothing else moves except for your forearms. Keep on going. Now nah, you're gonna get a break in a second. I'm pretty sure you might need it. If you don't need it, you don't need to take a break. I'm gonna show you in a second. Ooh. Yes, last one. Ready, set. Two bottom halves and go. Oh! Woo. Turn up the volume because now you can feed it. Keep on going. Okay, right, only singles. Eight singles, that's it. Eight singles. All right, I already decided I'm gonna give you a break eventually, but not after this round. After the next round. So after the next round, you should be beat already. Otherwise, there's too little waste on your bottle. All right, listen carefully. Two and two, here we go. Last round before the break. Maybe a break that you don't need. So if you're gonna do this a second time and this was too easy, just ignore the break and just do two super slows instead of the break. Yes. This is always an option. You can always ignore my breaks. That is. Three more. Yes. Two more. Yes. One more time. Ready, set, two, bottom halves and go. Ow! Three more of these, then you're gonna hit your break. Or, super slow, hit your break. This is the last thing I wanna tell you. Hit your break in my class? Never. <laughs> but you're gonna hit a break, which is now. Get rid of the barbell. Woo! So, one more round to go, which is already the last round, which is not even too long. So maybe you don't even need this. Congratulations, you're almost there. Let's do this. Two and two. Remember up, me. up and slowly down. Let's keep on going. Slowly rise. Slowly down. Oh yes. Remember me. Remember me. Ooh, I know you can do this. Just show me. Ready, set. Double down. Now. I know that you can do it to the end. Especially after the break you had. So keep on going until you can't do it. No more. Single still yet. Go. Two, one, and super slow down. Yes. And that's it. 
Remember me. Ah, if you want to get more ways from the Bible for the lunges, we're going to have a short while with the lunges, with the Bible, that is. And then after that, we're going to have an uh, even shorter while stepping out. But I'm going to explain to you how to do it to actually still feel it. So my suggestion would be to put more weights on the bubble right now, because now you can actually do it. I'm pretty sure of it. And in the end, just make sure that the lunges and the squats are deep and you don't come up all the way. But I'll explain that when we're almost at the end. So first, actually, this break is too long because we're not gonna start right away when the music starts. But first, meaty part of your neck. Then put the right foot to the front, the left foot to the back, open up your chest, and let's start. Three down, one up. So, going down slowly, and up quickly. Three, three, two, one, rise up. Keep on going. Three, two, one, rise up. Keep on going. Alright, fluent and nice, two and two, let's do it. Down, down and slowly rise. Yes. The question always remains. Do you think you are better off alone? Hell no. Down and halt. I told you before, this part is really short. Ready, set, singles, go! But I made sure to put something into it to still feel it, even though it's short. Woo! Hey, after this one, this is relatively easy as well, triple down. So three button halves. One, two, three, and all the way up. This time we're gonna come straight up. All right, so two more of these, and then you're only gonna have 15 more seconds to go. And in 15 se uh, seconds, all the way up the top, stop. We can do 16 bottom halves. 16 bottom halves now. 16, 15, 14, 13. I hope you understood all of it, because my head didn't even understand that. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, all right, together. Oh. Halfway there, at least with the bottle. Chain sides. Three and one. You need to. Yes. Fluent and strong. Two and two. Let's do it. Down. Down and slowly rise. Keep on going. Drop the knee to the floor. Do you think you're better? Down and hold. The cool thing is your second leg is mostly the one that you really feel. That's exactly what it's supposed to be. Ready, set, hit it. So try changing those legs up sometimes so you don't always feel like, hey, my one leg is stronger than the other. It might be that always your second leg feels heavier. Okay, triple down, here we go. Yes. I know you can do it, just drop down a little bit lower. You don't do it for me, you do it for yourself, right? Okay, then hold it at the top, hold it. Ready, set, 16 bottom halves, go. Oh yes. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. You're gonna have a long break, so get rid of the bubble, but take your time. Oh. <laughs> Make sure that you've got enough room behind you because we're going to have some squats and then we're going to have lunges to the back. There. So a nice squat position. Feet not too wide apart, but wide apart enough to have a good squat. Four, but pass, quickly. Listen carefully. We're going to have two single lunges at the right side. So lunge, step back, lunge, step back, and stay in the squat, four bottom halves. So you're going to keep it low all the time. Two singles with the right side, again. So it's the same side again. Four bottom halves. And again, the same side. Two singles, down, and step together. But make sure that you stay deep. That's when you really feel this one working. All right, let's do the same thing again. Four bottom halves. But this time, the left leg. Here we go. One, two, and again. Four, three. Two more of these. You can do this. Just stay down. Get yourself stronger by aiming deeper. Higher in what you can do, but deeper with your glutes. But you got that. I'm pretty sure. And 
stuff. Oh. Okay. I'm here to say sorry already. I'm so sorry for the next track, but the track was already long as it was, and I didn't want to cut it short too much. Good news, though, that you don't have any push-ups for the shoulder check, but we're going to have loads of those weights and the bobble in the end. So if you still need the bobble, so you want to use the bobble in the end, take some weight off if you increase the weight. If you still have the biceps weight on a bobble, that's fine. Just keep the biceps weight. You're going to be fine because we only use the bobble in the end. A short while. So grab the two weights. We're going to have an old move that comes back again, even though it's not Halloween. Let's go carefully. Side raise, two and two. Oh, yes. We had this one before, I know, in a different mix. Still a great mix. But I love this one so much, I had to use it. Uh, yes, keep on going. I'm pretty sure you can smell it too. Uh, you know exactly what I've got to say, because it does really smell like teen spirits. Two and two to the front. Front wrist. This is just to massage the shoulders and to prepare them just a little bit about what's going to happen in a second. Right, we're going to proceed with the two and two to the front, so keep on going. So we're going to be two to the front and back. I'm already going to explain what's going to happen after this. We are going to have two single side raises and then a two and two to the front. Ready, set, two singles to the sides. Number one. Number two, two singles to the front. One, two. Oh, that's all right. That's all right. We are going to have a two and two to the front. I'm sorry. I'm already mixing up right now. Yep, I'm sorry. Two singles to the sides. And then two and two to the front. Close up. Because we are going to switch this to what we call a somber race, which is this one. Yes? As some of you already know, some of you don't. The reason it's called a somber race is because zombies do this. <laughs> yes! Do this is to the side. And it's a zombie race. I don't even know what sound they make. This is just what I imagine. Singles, first right, then left. All right? Yes. Again, we're gonna have a long trick. We probably already noticed because the clock says so. Because the clock says we're gonna have a long trick, I have to switch it up a little bit. We're gonna do a lot of different things. Keep on going. Eight, seven, six. Keep on going, keep on going. And if this is too heavy, good luck because you're about halfway there, I think. Not even. You're not even halfway there. Yeah, you are halfway there. Okay, both weights at the same time. You are gonna get a break after this. But first you need to finish five more of these. So, four, three, two, last one. One big shoulder roll. Oh. this hurts. Only if you do this without weight is when it doesn't hurt. And then I'm not even sure if it doesn't hurt. If you're wearing a big watch, it already should hurt. All right, we're gonna do exactly the same thing, but now we're gonna speed it up. Twice as fast, we go. Yeah! Hey! Keep it going. Up, over, down and back. Only three more to go, and then you're gonna get a little quick. Yes, two more to go. One more. Hold it at the bottom. Relax. Ready, set. We're gonna have a rotator race with a single press up. Ready, set. Here we go. Rotator race. Then up with right, and then with left. So it's right oh, and left, and then all the way down. That's easy. I know it's easy. Well, not because of all the stuff that we did before. My baby, it's actually relatively hard. Two more of these. And then after these two, we're gonna make it just a little tougher. Not too much, but a little tougher. So we're gonna do the same movement, but now 
now we've doubled the weight, or both the weight. So there's two single presses. One, two, and all the way down. Let's do it one more time. Let's do it. Go up and over. Two single presses. One, two, and all the way down. And get rid of those weights. Get rid of those weights. Grab your bubble. Grab your bubble. Grab your bubble. Grab your bubble. Let's come up and hold. Up, hold. Slowly down. I already feel this is way too much weight, but it's a matter. Okay, triples up. Here we go. One, two, three. Okay, now you are nearly there. Just about half a minute to go. You can do this. One, two, three. Okay, listen carefully. Onto your chest. Singles go. Yay! Yay! All the way till the end. Woo! Let's get me. Up quick, down slow. Up and a slow, slow. Four more to go. Yes, three more to go. Two more to go. And this is going to be your very last one. Hold it. Get rid of this barbell. And then we are going to go on with the abs. So. Woo. <laughs> You're either gonna love this or hate it. We're gonna hate the exercise for sure because somebody told me they actually felt their abs last uh, release. So let's try to get that feeling back. So just a regular plank. You're just gonna do this. Right foot, left foot, right foot. Just raise it up. If you can't do it, just keep uh, on sitting on your knees. This is fine too. But then don't use your feet. Yes. Okay, we're gonna make it a little bit interesting. Eventually, we're gonna step out, out, and in, in. Not now, but I'm gonna already show you. Well, you know what? While I'm doing it anyway, it feels good. Let's do it one more time. All right, just hold that, hold that. Listen carefully, we're gonna do that twice fast, and watch this. So out, out, in, in, one. Then number two. Then your body comes forward in two. And back in two. Yep. Again. So your feet come out, out, in, in, out, out, in, in. Come forward. And back. And again. But keep your hip down. So never do this. I know it feels better. Well, better. It feels easier because you're using your hips. But you want to use your abs, not your hips. Go all the way to the front. And slowly back. And that's it. Relax for now. Relax for now. Okay, we're going to go one step further. One step further. Two steps. Uh, on your hands this time. Drop the shoulders, and your shoulders should be right on top of your hands. Navel in, and keep on watching the floor in front of you. Watch it. Keep on going. Keep on, keep on going. Uh. If this feels good, then the next thing is gonna be feel even better. What's that? Twice as fast. One, two. Keep on going. The further you go to the front, the more you feel your abs because your hip wants to rotate forward, and that's where you feel your abs working. If this is too easy, well, you can stay with this speed, or if you want to, twice as fast. Go. This is totally optional. You really, really don't have to do this if this doesn't feel good or if it feels too hasty. But make sure your body is forward. Yep. And relax. Oh, onto your back. So first we're gonna start with just singles towards the top or whatever speed feels good for you. So grip the navel in and keep on going just for me. Oh, he says, put your, put your legs up. So till the end, we're only going to have a triple pulse and then you're going to extend your entire body. What's this? Triple pulse. One, two, three, and extend all the way. Again. If you feel your lower back, just point them up towards the ceiling a little bit more so you don't feel your lower back too much. Yep. Just keep on going. More. Yep. Keep going. Ah. It feels like you're out of rhythm, you're not. So it's one, two, three, and extend. One, two, three. 
three and extend. One, two, three and extend. Two more times. One, two, three. And it's gonna be the very last one. One, two, three. Extend and relax. Oh, oh yes. Extend your entire body because you've been working hard. I'm pretty sure of it. If you haven't been uh, working hard, I don't know what I have to do to make you work hard. Ah. Okay, feet flat to the floor and drop your knees to the right, right side. Ah. Let go of your lower back by pushing your other knee ah. towards the floor. Yes, that's it. Back to the middle, you know what's going on. Your right leg towards the ceiling. The further you go, the better, and then drag it in towards yourself. Feel your hamstring stretching. I met a strange lady. She made me nervous. Hey, right foot on top of the left knee and drag the left leg in. Do you come from the night? I hope you're happy because I'm certainly happy that this happened again. Ah, oh, great class. At least I hope that you feel so too. Drop the knees towards the other side of the room. Ah. Oh. Into the middle. Then extend your left leg. Breathe in. Breathe out and drag it in deeper. Left foot on top of the right leg and drag the right leg in. Yes, onto your hands and knees. Ah. Open up your chest. Right foot to the front. Left arm up. Here we go. Yes. Drop your shoulder, take your arm over and back and push your hip forward. Stretch through the front of the hip. Such an important stretch. So make sure you make it deep and strong. Switch sides. Drop the shoulder, drop the hip. Take it over, take it back. And push your hip forward. Okay, stand up. Let go of everything. Oh, everything. And drag the right leg in. Keep your knees together and keep forward. Drag in as far as you can go. Push it there. Stay there. Right foot to the back and right arm over. Left leg. Knees together. Push your heel in, push your hip forward. Yes. Back and over. Yes. And for the very, very, very first class of this year, oh, I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. Great that you've been here. Great that you stayed to the end. And I hope to see you next time again when I explain as well how I do it and when I do it and what I do to all these classes in Let's Move Strength number 23. Take an eye on for it. I will see you next time. Have a great day. Bye, bye, bye.